everyone, it's Casey Martin from Wine Country Woodworks and Wine Country Mica Powder, and this is going to be the first part in a mini series of me showing you all getting my wood shop up and running. I am so stoked to finally be at this stage. I've got the electrical obviously done. You can see some lights are on. I'll give you guys a mini tour. I do have some clips from when I was doing the electrical, putting up the plywood, and all of that fun stuff. So I'll be sure to layer those in, but just wanted to give you guys a quick tour, show you guys what my plan is, get your guys' feedback. So while I'm in this phase of still setting things up, I'd love to get your guys' thoughts and opinions on, hey, Casey, you shouldn't do X, Y, and Z, you know, because of this, or hey, you know, that's great, but you should do that. You know, always open to feedback and, uh, Anyway, I think it's gonna be a really fun process of, of doing it together, so let's get right into it. So here's a couple quick clips of when I was doing the rough electrical. At this point, it was pretty much done. There's a little bit more that needed to be done, but did this all myself. Um, I had a little bit of help from my grandpa, which was really fun working with him. This was when I then put in all of the insulation. I did R13 all the way throughout, and then I also did some foam insulation on the ceilings as well but that was when it was then sheathed in plywood i did acx plywood and uh you know probably didn't necessarily need it but uh, made painting it a heck of a lot easier and uh, was torn honestly between painting it and not painting it but i ended up painting it for the light refraction so it was a little more, bit more bright but just want to show you guys all the steps in the process all righty so i'll just give you guys a quick overview and then we'll go over to the resin casting and stabilizing area which i have set up the most um of course it is extremely cluttered i am still unboxing things and finding the home so of course excuse the mess um but what i'm thinking is this area over here um, including kind of the saw right here in the middle. Uh, for reference, this is the front door, only door. And I'm thinking over here is gonna mainly be the dust making area. So you can see I have my drum sander over there, which I'm sure will relatively be its home. That table is gonna go as well as that table. Those are left over from when I was um, getting this set up. I'm gonna build a little outfeed table for my table saw back there. And then over here, a lot of my benchtop tools that are still in storage, so for instance, or in boxes, they're all here, but like my lathe um, will either go here or I'll get a little uh, stand on wheels for it. I'm gonna have my drill press here. I need to figure out what I want to do with my compound sliding miter saw because it's so big and I really don't make cuts with it that much, but I do need to find a permanent home for it. So that, that one I could use your guys' suggestions and thoughts on. Of course, the bandsaw's there and the dust collector's there. And what's gonna be really fun with the dust collector in this shop is I am going to run some ducting up along the rafters with PVC pipe, and that's gonna be able to go to all the, the different tools. So um, I'm thinking I'll have probably around from that outlet, which is not hooked up to the light switches. That one's always on. That's where my air filtration unit's gonna go. And then I think I'll have a line drop straight down for the table saw. But that's kind of what I'm thinking so far roughly for this whole half, basically the like non-resin casting and stabilizing area. Um, really open to some suggestions and ideas. That table right there or bench will also have some of the bench top, bench top tools on it like my grinder or belt sander, things like that. Um, I might end up getting another bench or like I was saying for uh, my main lathe, having like a little rolling table. I'm not entirely sure yet because I do want to have that hooked up to dust collection like I used to. But now to the fun part, the part that is mostly done, or I, I should say at least a lot further along is the resin casting and stabilizing area. So one of the things I realized through my last couple shops is that obviously the majority of my time in the shop and the majority of the focus of the YouTube channel and things like that is around resin casting. And so I wanted to really nail down um, this space and what would be the most efficient. And so I'll give you guys a quick tour of what I have so far 
you know, I think this is pretty close to how I'm going to want to have it. But again, curious your guys' thoughts and um, definitely let me know what you think. But when we did the house remodel, uh, we basically gutted and, and redid everything, including the kitchen. However, I wanted to save the old kitchen cabinets. So that's what these are all from. This was actually the old sink. So this is going to be a perfect spot for putting in um, like my Alumilite jugs and stuff because it's just a big open cavity. Whereas all of the others have drawers, they have shelves, and this whole bench right here is going to be the, the casting station where I'm actually mixing up resin. And um, I've got these the same exact height, just need to push them together and haven't decided yet if I want to put a final um, single layer of like HDPE or melamine or something like that on top. This, um, I, I think it's either Formica or some type of vinyl or something. This stuff will be good to have resin not stick onto it, but it was obviously taken off of this one and I had to put plywood on. So not sure. But anyway, really, really stoked to have all of these drawers for like my mica powders. Um, still need to figure out what I want to do with the dyes. Like if I want to maybe just have them on the side and have a single spot dedicated to casting. I'm not sure because one of the things I realized over the last couple of years, especially in my kind of interim shop, I don't like having my silicone casting mats with anything on them, uh, like for instance, dyes, mica powders, etc., cetera, um, just sitting there. Because if I want to clean it, which is the whole purpose of having one, I can't easily. I have to take everything off. So still figuring that out. Um, but what I ended up doing for um, this section, actually, I, I guess this uh, was originally going to be a, a ground cabinet. But what I wanted to show that I did with these cabinets was these were originally upper cabinets, meaning they were gonna hang on the wall like this. The problem with them in this shop is this shop due to like coding in California couldn't have eight foot ceilings up to the top of these trusses. It's like seven foot nine or so. And when these would be hung, it would only give on, on these cabinets like six or seven inches of um, space between them. And I really didn't like that. You can kind of get a feel for it over here. This, this table's a little bit lower than the other one, but you can see there, there's not like a ton of room there. It's not too bad, which is why this one I did want to hang because these are shorter and this longer one, I just put my smoker over there. But with these, I figured, why don't I just flip them and even though it's a little high, it's still a really good height for all of my pressure pots and fits perfect width-wise for them. And now you can see I've, I've started unboxing some of my molds and stuff. I will have tons and tons of shelf spaces for all of my molds and just you name it. Like I just am gonna have so much space for all of my stuff, which normally is just cluttered all around either the workbenches or on open shelves, and I'm just not gonna have any more of that, which I'm really, really excited for. The kind of final piece to this puzzle over here is a couple of things. So first and foremost, I need to, um, or not first, but um, just to kind of finish the resin casting side of it, I need to get my jigsaw and cut some holes in this so I can sink these down like normal. Um, and what's cool in here is, Obviously, some of the space around here when they're sunken down won't be usable, but it will be um, a little bit. And then you still have a lot of space down below for storing stuff. Um, I guess one more thing to finish out the resin casting side is this is my air compressor box. And so I'm going to have the air hose come up to my retractable reel up there. And then I'll just have the reel be able to drop down um, whenever I pull on it to all of my pressure pots, which will be really cool. And the other thing I was able to do was make this the exact height, this top to that. So I don't know if I'm going to bridge them together or not, because this is on wheels. So it is nice being able to, to move it if I want to. Um, anyway, we'll move on to kind of the, the stabilizing side, which <clears throat> what I wanted to 
point out is I'm not entirely sure what I want to do right here yet. Um, definitely want to have some type of bench or, or something. Uh, I do have like my ethernet over here. Um, I've got ethernet in, in multiple spots there as well as on that wall. So I don't have to put my, de my desk over here, but I always did like having my shop computer close to my resin casting because that's usually where I would be using it, right? I would be looking up specific colors or you name it, right? Um, so I might have a little desk right here, but what I'm leaning more towards is having something that incorporates the stabilizing area because the stabilizing area is not completely unboxed yet. I've still got a couple toaster ovens that need to go on here. I still have a few mason jars that need to go on here. And in short, it's just not all gonna fit on this little bench. And so I um, wish I had one more of these because it would fit perfectly right here, but it actually might not anyway because that door needs to open. So I, I might build something um, myself that's around this, the same height as that. Um, not, not entirely sure, uh, probably would actually match up the height with that one. Although they're, they're already kind of close, but <clears throat> what I'm thinking is to most likely build a bench right here and have my toaster ovens on top of that. And, um, most of the stuff on top of here, if not all the stuff just be like vacuum chamber stuff. Right. And then that way I would have my smoker and my toaster oven stuff like the, the curing side of stabilizing uh, separated. The other cool thing over here is all of this storage space. I, I'll, I think I'll definitely want to flip the hinges on that so that it, it opens the other way, but it's just gonna be so nice. I can have all of my cac cactus juice jugs up there and um, you know just not have them cluttering up all of my sacred bench top space. So that is kind of that whole area. Obviously everywhere else is a mess because it's like as I work on and finish up one place, everything kind of gets kicked out of its way. And so slowly but surely making progress. Uh, right here, I think I'm gonna mount my TV. That's where I put the coax and, and the ethernet a little higher. Um, did kind of make a silly mistake when I was doing that. I don't know why the heck I didn't think about also just putting a single outlet right by it as well. Um, but I mean, there is one pretty close. It's gonna be mounted right there. So you're not gonna see much, much cord anyway, but really, really excited about this. And just so, so over waiting <laughs> for, making YouTube videos, making actually things turned on the lathe again. I just am really, really looking forward to it. It's been a long time and I just can't wait. So that is it for this little short update video. The first part in showing you guys getting my shop all set up. So definitely let me know what you guys think. As I've said multiple times throughout, please let me know any fun ideas or suggestions. I'd love to hear them. I am just really, really excited to be back in uh, a permanent shop, so to speak, where I could be in here for the next 10, 15 years, whoever knows how long, right? And it's just so nice to have all of my stuff, literally everything's out of storage, like all of my tools are here. Um, a lot are still in boxes, like I was saying, I, I still need to get a lot out um, and in their final home, but it's just so nice knowing everything's here, right? It's just such a great feeling. I mean, it's been two years of having a lot of my stuff in storage and not having a permanent shop. And uh, it's just very overdue to be <laughs> making fun videos again, turning on a lathe. I haven't turned on a lathe in two years. It's, it's crazy, right? So really looking forward to that. Really looking forward to making a lot more videos with you guys. I know I've tried my best over the last couple years, but Having an interim shop and really only being able to do casting in it didn't get to do a lot of the fun side of actually turning what I cast into items, right? So anyway, like the video if you guys liked it, subscribe to the channel if you're new and want to see the rest of these uh, series of getting the shop ready. And um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. So excited to be back. So I'll talk to you all soon. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.